Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. <sighs> Daily energy, June 7th, okay? Okay, okay, okay. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I do, I do. All right, June 7, 2018, all Zodiacs. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got the star reverse. I don't like you. I don't like you that. We got the magician reverse. We got the devil reverse. Holy, what is going on? What? The lovers reverse. Guys, that's four major arcana in a row. All right? Like, oh, what? It's like someone doesn't have hope when it comes to something. Like, they can't. Then they're not able to master what it is, okay? But here's the deal. Like, they don't have hope when it comes to a lover. It's either that they just, they really don't want to make a decision. But here's the thing. We got the Seven of Swords reversed. So this is something that's coming back around, all right? And we got the Knight of Pents. But he's off his horse, okay? And then we have the, the Nine of Swords. So it's like we're stressed out, all right? So we have no hope when it comes to the situation when it has to do with lovers. Like, we're not feeling like we can do anything right now. Um... The nice thing is, is that you're coming out of some type of negative energy, some kind of toxicity, something that's something, you know, that should be addressed, but is not being addressed. All right. We do have a knight coming in and he's looking right at the seven of swords and struggling whether or not we're going to come in and we're, we're going to talk about this. Like, what are we going to do? You know? Um, well, come here then, Papa. So, again, you know, feeling hopeless when it comes to some things. Like, you're, you're more than capable of doing this, but you, you, you feel like you can't. And it's like, here's the deal with the Seven of Swords looking right at the King of Pence. So it's kind of like, I need to make a decision. I need to come in. I need to speak, you know, the truth and, and what really happened, all right? Because you're super stressed out about it and and bent out of shape, okay? But the Seven of Swords is, is got its back turned towards the lover, okay? Because there was something that was clearly unsaid, something that was, that was clearly deception, okay? So the king is literally looking at the Seven of Swords like, what do I do? I'm, I'm stressed out. I'm not sleeping. All right, like I'm, um, I have anxiety. Like, what do I do? Like, we're not on a horse. We're not doing nothing. We're we're just kind of nada. Okay. So let's get out of this energy because that's not cool. All right. So now I'm gonna flip everything. Exactly. So now the Seven of Swords is looking right at the lovers. All right. So, you know, this is telling me, like, this is something you were hoping for. This is something you will wish for, possibly something you manifested. You know you can go and do this, but you also know there's been toxicity. There's, there's some kind of link. There's some kind of bond when it has to do with this lover, which is probably twin, dead, dead in the middle. All right. Seven of Swords now looking straight at the lovers. And... And, and he's looking right at the Seven of Swords, like, damn, like, I, I, I did something wrong, but wh what do I do? All right. Well, I, I don't, what are you doing? What are you doing, Papa? You're all over the place. You can't come on my backwards. You're, just, you're interrupting the show. Um, What are we going to do with you? I'm going to put you right here, right down the ladder. So... And, and it's stressing this king out, but, or somebody else is super stressed out and he's just, he's avoiding, 
He's avoiding the conversation because of deception. He's avoiding something clear as day. There's no question. Okay. So my best advice would be like right here, like honestly, like confront what needs to be confronted. All right. If it's stressing you out or you know somebody's stressed out, you know, clearly there's a, a very, very strong bond here. There's no question. You got four major arcana right in a row. Like the bond is unbreakable. All right, you could be dealing with somebody in the public eye. You could be dealing with somebody who's manifesting their dreams right now. They want nothing to do with toxicity. Yeah, do we have a bond? Do I know who you are? Yeah, but there's been deceit. I've been waiting for you a, a long ass time. Um, I'm tired of shit feeling like this, so I'm out. Okay, so I can read this in all different ways. So, what are you going to do about it? It's, it's on you or whoever this is feeling. You know, if, if you're the one that's not in this energy and, and this is all going out with you or all going on the outskirts with you with somebody else and it's out of your hands and it's out of your hands, all right? Because clearly what's put them saying, this person's not putting effort in. So don't put the effort in, all right? So if you're feeling, if this is you feeling like the Nine of Swords because this one didn't put the effort in, do your best to get out of that, okay? Get yourself out of that energy. That is no good energy. I don't like it. Clearly, it is a very strong, strong, strong bond. Tell me about this stuff. Tell me about this stuff. Try to break it down. Here we are at six. Tell me about the star. The five of ones. So yeah, there's there's the petty shit. Petty petty shit. Don't 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 involve yourself with petty shit. Alright, the magician's a princess of cups, so this this magician wants to come in and apologize, but just petty shit is weighing on this person. Anxiety is weighing on this person. Conflict is weighing on this person, whether or not they can achieve it. And I'm telling you, they feel like they can achieve it because everything did come out reversed, all right? We got the eight of pence. This person does want to work together, the devil. they, Whoever this person has a bond with, they want to work together. Or they're watching this person work together. They're watching this person work. Maybe you guys work together. Maybe this person that is in the public eye and this other person is now watching this other person. Maybe someone's a dancer. Maybe somebody's on stage a lot. Maybe somebody's just known. Maybe somebody's a celebrity. Like, I don't know the case, but the way the cards are falling, that seems to be the case right now. This one particular individual, this King of Pence, is really trying to figure this out, really trying to figure this bond out. And it's like, you got somebody like... Somebody's really, one particular person is feeling really trapped in this scenario right now. Sorry, guys, I was just eating peanuts. So, I mean, there's that. But this particular person who's having this, to me, it's not even a shadow side. It's a bond sitting right next to the lovers. Could it be toxic? Yeah, I don't have any other cards like that right now. That's not what this is about. Okay. If there was something toxic, we're out of that. This is a bond. And somebody really wants to, again, work together with somebody or they're watching somebody work or you physically, the two of you work together. All right. But this magician's like, damn, like somebody owes somebody an apology right here, but there's just this conflict. All right. Um, and I think the conflict lies here with the seven of swords. Like, how do I approach this? Like, what is this? What is this bond? I Did I manifest this? Did this person manifest this? Like, how did this happen? Like, all of a sudden I feel trapped. Why do I feel trapped? You, you feel trapped in multiple ways. Like, to me, this isn't the King of Pens. Like, the King of Pens right now might be stressing out looking at all this, but in all reality, I kind of feel like, kind of feel like this is on the outskirts, possibly. Like, it, it's, somebody else that might be stressed out 
Or I can look at it like, tell me about the Nine of Swords. I can look at it like I'm tired of feeling like this and, I, and I'm just, I'm done. Like, I don't, I don't need to continue to, to, to look at this person. Like, neither of them are looking at each other. So it's either the king wanting to get out of this or it's the king knowing that this other person is like this, all right? See, the ace of swords, yeah, this is like a new stat. Like, whether it's communication, it's cutting through the bullshit, it, it's finding your own clarity, all right? So I kind of feel like this was the person that was like this. It's just tired as shit. And they're done. They're done, all right? This this mama is seeking her own clarity right now, all right? And that, But yet we still have this king of pence. Like, what do I do, all right? So if you're this king of pence, you know, Best advice for the King of Pents right now. What approach for this King of, of Pents? You know, speak speak the truth. Or it's this person stressing out about coming in and speaking the truth. So I just clarified that on my own. So this can go either way. It could be this mama saying, I'm out, I'm done. I found my own clarity. Or this King of Pents is like, okay, I'm, I'm stressing out. Or this one's stressing out. Or, or something's going on where I need to speak my truth. All right, but let's just do the King of Pentacles real quick. Best advice for the King of Pentacles. To, to me, it's, it's speaking the truth, all right? But there's this something. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, all right? It's a counter suit, all right? With a lover, a twin. It's somebody, you know, you got a counter... <sighs> queen of Pentacles. Go speak the truth to the damn Queen of Pentacles. Okay? There's your advice. There's your advice. With a two of Pentacles, stop juggling whether or not you're going to go in. Drop a damn ball. Drop a ball and move forward towards success. Do you hear me? All right. Yeah. You got this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. I'm going to give you a quick angel message. I'm very attracted, very drawn to the, um, the Lotus... The lotus right here just kind of like, and it's like, just drawn to it. Best advice for daily spread, please. So we have lots of, um, the bottom of the deck, we have breathe. Take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken energy and release old patterns. Um, and then clear your space. Get rid of clutter. <laughs> all right, clear all the energy. Use the feng shui. I have, um, I have an excellent app for that. I, I, I had no idea how peaceful that the music is, the energy in that. Um, my son actually even likes it too. He's like, what you listening to, Ma? What you listening to? It's it's like it breaks it down too. Okay? Like what it's different vibrations. Like why it literally breaks down why you should use it, the methods, the elements, the colors, like the how it can transform. Like it, it's like Feng shui for your kitchen. That's just telling you what you should put in your kitchen depending on where you spend the most time. But anywho, clear your energy out. All right. If you know how to sage, sage. If not, open up all the windows. Ask your angels, you know, to help out. All right. And just breathe. Breathe through this. All right. Go go speak the truth to this, this to this, um, the queen of pence. Okay. She's very nurturing. All right. This is somebody who's very understanding, very nurturing, very grounded, very successful, very well-rounded. Okay, go go speak the truth to the Queen of Pants. I love you guys. Have a fantastic day. Bye.